in. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to start with our class, which is class number five. So, well, welcome, welcome. This is our English class, section number three. We're going to start this week. Thank you so much for being here, which is called May I Tell You Order. That's the title of this uh, section. Uh, we're going to have like a, a full week of this section. Okay, so that means you will have plenty of time for you to practice. Um, today's topic is going to be going out for dinner. This is going to be the topic for today. Uh, this is class number five. And thank you so much for being here. Welcome, everybody. Um, just a quick thing. Do you understand the title here? May I tell you order? Where Where do you hear this question? May I In tell you order? Exactly. That's correct. In a restaurant, right? When you go to the restaurant and you like order pupusas, right? There is somebody that comes to you and asks you, Excuse me, may I tell you order? Or sometimes they say, are you ready to order, right? Yes, yeah, so that's another expression as well. But here we have, may I tell you order? We're gonna work with going out for dinner. How often do you go out for dinner? Uh-huh, less, oh, let's begin with this question. Janesi, hello, good evening. It's nice to have you, welcome. Good evening. Thank you. How often do you go out for dinner, Janessi? Mm, not very often. Why? Um, well, le lately everything is too expensive and I rather um house how homemade cook. It's good, right? Yeah, I love the expression too expensive like that. <laughs> It's triple, right? Okay, yeah. so uh, the prices are uh, triple. That's good. Thank you so much. Very, very good. Uh, what about you, Ronald? Hello. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Tell me, Ronald, how often do you go out for dinner? Uh, Ronald, can you participate? Yes or no? Okay, let's work with Eugenio Martinez. Hello, welcome, good evening. Eugenio, tell me, how often do you go out for dinner, please? Hello, good evening. Um, what is the chain? <laughs> oh, 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 the topic is, the, the question, topic. Eugenio, is how often you go out for dinner, yeah. Dinner, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, uh, my, my question is, what happened with Mr. Lopez? Oh Jesus, I don't know. I think you got the run, the run, um, a link. You are in the run. I think you are in the run class, Eugenio. Yes. yes. So you need okay. to like get okay. the red link, because I think you are in the run um class. Okay. <laughs> so I'm sorry. This is nice to meet you. Okay. Okay, uh let's oh Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Claudia. Hello, good evening. Uh this is uh in pre-intermediate English module number three. Is this is this your module? Yes. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um okay. So welcome. It's nice to have you. Okay. Uh how have we met before? Claudia, have we met before? Yes. No. <laughs> so this is the first time you like you here in this class. Um I think so. Okay, I oh, just let me double check because maybe I got confused. Uh, okay, give me a minute. So I need to double check that one just to be sure about it. 
Um, this is the, the, el enlace que estaba en el chat en el que estoy, así que supongo que este es, pero no era en este grupo en el que estaba. <laughs> no, yes, I'm sorry, you got the wrong link, okay, you got the wrong link. Yes, so, uh, I'm sorry, it's nice to meet you, okay. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> oh, my pleasure, thank you. Okay, so this is the thing we're going to work today, as you may know. We're going to start section number three. So that means don't forget that you need to do the exercises that you have on the platform for this week. Have them ready. Yes. Uh, and if you have any question or if you do not understand something, oh, let me know. Oh, give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Welcome. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Very good. Sounds sounds good. Thank you. Um. Uh, let me see. Which that one? Okay. Yes. Give me a minute, please. I need to report something. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute. Uh, when? Excuse me, Oscar. I I'm gonna switch to Spanish. Okay. Eh, Claudia, sí, sí, pedirles a uh, mm -hmm. que dejen la sesión y y busquen el um pues el URL correcto de su clase, sí, ya lo voy a reportar con los encargados para pues que porque ahorita vamos aquí con la clase number la number five y ustedes comenzaban el día de hoy. Empezamos el lunes. Oh, este lunes, today. No, el lunes pasado. Oh, ya, esta es, ya esta es la segunda semana. Oh Jesus, entonces déjeme ver. What is your full name, Claudia? María Gómez Canizales. Uh, eh, solo tengo una Claudia Yesenia Flores, pero usted no está en la lista, Claudia. Y creo que el maestro era diferente, ¿verdad? Corríjame si me equivoco. Sí, el maestro sí. era Sí. ¿Cómo <risa> se llamaba su maestro? Eh, le, quiero ver. Mister. Ay, aquí está en el chat. Sí. Fidencio, creo. Ok, sí, sí, la disculpa del caso, ya lo reporté. Uh, entonces, sí pedirles que, que, que soliciten en el chat el, el, el link correcto de su clase para que pues, se unan en la clase de él y este uh, para que así no se pierdan la clase de él, porque tienen el, el, el link correcto. Okay. Ah, ok, thanks. Ok, yes, I'm gracias. Sorry about it. My pleasure. Ok. okay. Thank you. See you. Okay, uh, I'm sorry about it for, for that inconvenience. I will report that and I hope that uh, they can fix uh, that as soon as possible. Okay, so uh, let's begin with some questions about this thing, which is my favorite. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about food. Okay, we're going to have some food information here on the top. As you may see, favorite foods. Let's begin with you, uh, Juan Jose Garcia. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, Juan. Do you hear me? Can you participate? Yes. Sorry, Juan. teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Please do me a favor. Read the information about favorite foods. Okay. Um, favorite foods. Apple pie, uh, brown to North America from Europe in the 70th century. And uh, chocolate, original prepared as a drink by the Olmec people in Mexico over uh, 3,000 3, years ago. Uh, French fries. French fries first made in Be Belgium around uh, one 
1,060, around um, 1780, uh, hamburger, create around 1,900 1, in the U.S. has a quick and Inexpensive milk, ice cream, create on the 1,080. Worst fair in the US by an Syrian chef, Ernest Anguil. Um, pasta, first rating about in a Greek recipe for from the first century CA. Uh, the sandwich, name for the English air on sandwich in the uh, seven, 1760. Uh, sushi. Modern style sushi first made in Japan in the in the twenties. Twenties, twenties. Okay, very good. Thank uh -huh. you so much. Great job. So here we have a little bit of the information where these things uh, were invented, right? Pretty much. And also, uh, just quick things we have with numbers here, 1900, we can say that one created around 1900. Yes, also here when we have this S after these zeros, we can say 60s, uh, 20s, okay? Uh, also here we can say 80s, right? 1680, 1760s, uh, and things like that. But very good. What is your favorite food? Let's say from this list that you see here, what's your favorite? Let's begin with you, Marcos. Tell me, what's your favorite food here? Uh, good evening. Thank you. Uh, Welcome. Um, favorite food is um, sushi and chocolate. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you so much for sharing. Very good. How often do you eat that, Marcos? How often do you eat this kind of food? Um, one, one oh, once, 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 once a year, once a week, once a month, once a month. Oh, this is good. Thank you so much for sharing. What about you, Freddie? What is something that you love from this list? Something that you eat a lot. Um, hello teacher good evening uh, good evening um, uh, I want to see um, uh, uh, I, I eat I something I sometimes eat a uh, hamburger oh, that's good. Um, two, no one time one time a week. Oh, uh -huh. once a month, once a um, month. Um, French fries too. Oh, yeah, very good. Uh, Thank you so sushi, much. Sushi, I, I never eaten. You never, I never eaten. I, I never have eaten, I never have eaten. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm not into trying this one. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't, sounds delicious, right? It looks uh, not for me. Thank you so much, Freddie, for sharing that. Okay. Thank you, Chip. Very good. Thank you. We're going to have a conversation about entire of shopping. Do me a favor, please. Uh, let me see. Evers. Hello, Evers. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Hello, teacher. Thanks. Welcome. Do me a favor. Look at the picture and describe the picture. What do you see? Uh, who are they? Where are they? 
uh, are they friends please mm -hmm. okay in the picture uh, there are uh, a man and a woman uh, they are maybe talking talking because they look happy and they are smiling i guess they are in shopping they are in shopping because but well, okay only that teacher only that thank you so much they are at the shopping mall right or in the shopping mall very good thank you so much then we have this title i'm tired of shopping so i will play the audio what i need you to do at home is just listen and read so then we can practice this stuff together here we go unit 13 what would you like page 86 exercise 2 conversation i'm tired of shopping part a listen and practice hey do you want to get something to eat sure i'm tired of shopping so am i what do you think of thai food i love it but i'm not really in the mood for it today yeah i'm not either i guess it's a bit spicy what about japanese food fine by me i love japanese food so do i there's a great restaurant on the first floor it's called kyoto garden perfect let's go try it unit 13 what would you like page 86 exercise 2 conversation i'm tired of shopping part a listen and practice hey do you want to get something to eat sure i'm tired of shopping so am i what do you think of thai food i love it but i'm not really in the mood for it today yeah i'm not either i guess it's a bit spicy what about japanese food fine by me i love japanese food so do i there's a great restaurant on the first floor it's called kyoto garden perfect let's go try it kyoto garden oh that's a good one okay kyoto garden thank you so much jocelyn tatiana good evening welcome oh excuse me thank you freddy that's very nice of you well thank you so much very good so just jocelyn hello jocelyn no, okay what about you jose alcides Jose Alcides, hello, good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Estoy en tráfico, lo siento. Oh, that's okay, no problem. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for letting me know. And let me see, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Good evening. Welcome. Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, Carlos, what is this conversation about? Oh, the first thing, can you participate? I'm sorry, I forgot to ask. Can you participate? Yeah. Yes, okay, teacher, okay. Is... Oh, Amber. No, tell me, what is happening in this conversation? What is this conversation about? Is this conversation about babies? Is this conversation about boyfriends? Is this conversation about, I don't know, food? What is this conversation about? Do you need help? Do you need some help with this one, Carlos? Do you need some help? Claudia, can you help him, please? Thank you. What's this conversation about? <clears throat> um, it's an invitation to 
to go eating. And they are asking each other the, their favorite food, kind of food. And so they decided to, to go to Kyoto Garden to, let me see, to, uh, to get, to have dinner. Okay, thank you so much. What's the kind of food that they serve over there, Claudia? Um, Japanese food. Japanese food, very good. What is another kind of food that we have in this conversation, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz? What is another Repeat, kind? Good evening, teacher. Repeat, please. Perfect. What is another kind of food that we have here in this conversation? They... Um, uh, is that American food, Mexican food, Thai food? Uh, Japanese food. Oh, Japanese, exactly right. This is this is one kind of food. And what is another another kind of food, Ana Cristina, that you see here in this conversation? Uh -huh. Do you do you need help? With that, oh, thank you so much, Freddie. Thank you so much for helper. Okay, we have Thai, Anna, Thai food. Okay, yes. What is the meaning of Thai, uh, Alexander? Please help us. Oh, I'm sorry, Mauricio. Yes, I'm sorry, I, I changed your name. I apologize. Okay, Mauricio, tell me uh, what is the meaning of Thai here. I don't know, and I'm not sure. It's about Thailand food. Oh, you nailed it. That's correct. Yeah, yes. that's Thailand okay. food. Okay, so that's the abbreviation, right, of this okay. country. We have Thai, Thailand food. Okay, thank you so much, all of you. I need you to save, save the picture, please. Save the conversation. I'm going to open the breakout room so you can practice. And don't forget to practice. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And... Just <laughs> like the meme, just do it, okay? So I will open the breakout rooms and somebody please, oh, also, Alfredo, you send it right on the chat here on Zoom. And if you can send it on WhatsApp, that will be nice. Okay, uh, breakout rooms, uh, so you can practice with your partners, listen your partners, the way they pronounce this uh, vocabulary and expressions. And if you have questions, feel free to ask them. Okay, let's begin. Okay, okay. Okay. In the main room, we're going to have room number one Ana Cristina Peña de Paz, Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas, and Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. You, uh, you four stay here in the main room. Yes? Ana Cristina, Blanca Isolina, Maria Vilma, and Jenny Lisette. You four stay in the main room. The rest of you, please join the rest. Uh, of the breakout rooms and practice with your partners. Here we go. Okay, so please join and practice. The conversation is already in the chat on WhatsApp in case you don't have it. So you can um get in from there and practice, okay? Thank you. So Carlos, please join. Um, thank you. Uh, Tiffany, please join. Oh, very good. Oh, here we have Kevin. Please join with your partner. Oh, very good. Okay, so we have two. Oh, Carlos and Jocelyn. Oh, very good, Jocelyn. Okay. <laughs> now get back, get back, get back, get back. Jenny, let's get back. Okay. Okay, for the ones that stay here in the main room, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh share with you right now the conversation so you can practice. You take terms and practice this conversation. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, Anna, thank you so much. Welcome, it's nice to have you, okay? So Anna, you are going to be uh, Simon and uh, Lisbeth, Jenny Lisbeth, you are Christian and then you change roles, okay? Yes, Jenny? Hello, Jen. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. Let's begin. Okay, do you want to have something to eat? Okay. Sure, I'm tired of chopping. So, I am, am I... What do you think of my food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah. yeah. I'm not here. I get it a bit space. What about Japanese food? Bye. Bye by me. I love Japanese food. So do. I there's a great restaurant on the first floor. It's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. I think Lisbeth she's having some problems with her internet connection. Okay, so Blanca, can you help Anna, please? Hello, okay. Blanca. Hello. Thank you. Uh, so Anna. You are going to uh, be Simon and uh, Claudia, you are going to be a uh, Christian. Okay. Okay. Let's begin. Hey, hey, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm try of chopping. So am I. What do you think of that food? I love it. But I'm um, not really in the mood for it real uh, it today. Yeah, I not either. I, I guess it's a bit spice. What about Japanese food? Fine by me. Love Japanese food. To do I there's a great restaurant on the first floor. It's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Thank you so much. Very good. Claudia, can you help me with uh, Vilma, please? Maria Vilma, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Okay, so Claudia, usted va a ser Simon and Maria Vilma, you are Christian. Okay. Okay, Blanca, you are Simon. Ah, okay. Que digo Claudia. Hey, do you want to get some time to eat? Sure, I'm tired of shopping. So am I. What do you think of Thai food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not here. The guest is a bit spicy. What about Japanese? Food? Fine, be me. I love Japanese food. So do I. There's a great restaurant in the first floor. It's Kai Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go treat. 
There is a baby. Uh, okay, in the background. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes, we have a few mistakes, right, on pronunciation, but you did it very good. Okay, uh, we have Kyoto Garden, right? That's a good one. Kyoto Garden. Um, okay, we're going to have the rest of your classmates so they can join us and we can practice um, uh, with all of them together in here. Okay, so just again a minute. Let me get the rest of your classmates in here. Well, they're joining pretty much. Okay, uh, so am I. I am not either. Um, so do I one more time. Um, yep, so that's what we have. Thank you so much for your participation on this one. We're going to have the rest of your classmates so they can join us. Let me check really quick. Oh, it's time. I need to take the attendance. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, thank you so much for joining. Uh, I will take the attendance uh, right now. So just give me like a couple of minutes so I can do that. Please, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Welcome, Ana. Nice to have you. Good evening. Blanca Isolina Guzman Cruz. Present. Good evening and welcome. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. I think Briseida is here, but she's like trying to connect her. She's trying. Um, Briseida. Oh, yes, she's here. Thank you so much, Briseida. Welcome. Good evening. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, Cindy. Good evening. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm Good here, evening. teacher. Christian also is here. Good evening, Grisia. Welcome. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Evers. Ernesto Perdomos Alvarez. Present, teacher. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you. Good evening. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm present, teacher. Thank you so much, Edith. Welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Freddy Alberto Pascarillo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Eliana Maria Alvarado Menquivar. Oh, I think Eliana, she wrote in the chat, right? Thank you, Eliana. Just let me double check that one really quick. Sorry. Uh, I think Eliana, you yes, she's here. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Um, Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. I think Janessi was here. Present. Oh, Sorry. thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Good evening. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarria. Good evening. Jose Alcides, Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, Jane oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Janessi Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Jesus, I'm sorry. Jocelyn. 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 Yes, I I'm sorry. I apologize. My my mistake, okay? <laughs> Jane oh, Jesus Christ. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Uh, Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Okay. <laughs> yes. Present teacher. Good Thank evening. you, gentlemen. Good Perfect. evening. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Welcome. Nice to have you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juarez. Present teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Good evening. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello. I'm here. Thank you, Luis. Welcome. Marcos Alberto Palacio Herrera. Good evening, Mr. Palomo. Nice to have you. Welcome. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Welcome. Good evening. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. I'm here. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Hello, Ronald. I think let me check. Ronald was here. I think I saw him. Yeah, I think I saw him. 
in the chat, please. Oh, in yes. Chat. Thank you so much. That's very nice. Yes, Ronald is. Thank you, Ronald. Good evening and welcome. Um, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. And Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Present, teacher. I'm sorry. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos, are you here? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you. Okay, so um, let's, we're going to have one more time the conversation really quick. I will, I will have a few participation from, from you. Okay, uh, first let's listen to the audio and then a few of you. Okay, so let's listen and read. Unit 13, what would you like? Page 86. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm tired of shopping. Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired of shopping. So am I. What do you think of Thai food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. What about Japanese food? Fine by me. I love Japanese food. So do I. There's a great restaurant on the first floor. It's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Thank you so much. We're going to have Sandra Noemi Pimentel. Hello, Sandra. Hello, teacher. Your partner is going to be Freddie. So, Freddie, you are uh, Simon and Christine. That is you okay okay teacher sandra ready let's begin i am simon christine yeah. christine 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 okay yes i am simon okay hey do you want to get something to eat sure i am tired of shopping so am i what do you think of thai food I love it, but I don't really in the mood for yours today. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I guess it's a bit spicy. What about Japanese food? I buy me. I love Japanese food. So do I. There is a great restaurant on the first floor. It is called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Thank you so much. Okay. Very good. A few mistakes in pronunciation, but I love the way you did it. Very good. Uh, Janessi. Hello, Janessi. Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Your partner is going to be Marcos. Marcos, you are Simon. Janessi, you are Christine. Ready? Let's begin. Excellent. Hey, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired of shopping. So am I. I what what do you think of Thai food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. What about Japanese food? Fine by me. I love Japanese food. So do I. There is a great restaurant on the first floor. It's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Thank you so much. Very good. Great job. Mirna del Campo, Carmen Ruano Reyes. Mirna, you are Christine. And Kevin, please, you are Simon. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, do you want to get something to eat? Sure, I'm tired of shopping. So I am. What do you think of Thai food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I am not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. What about Japanese food? Fine by me. I love Japanese food. So do I. There's a great restaurant on the first floor. Uh, it's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Thank you so much. Okay. We have so am I. So am I. 
And this call it's one. is call. It's call. call. Very good. Edith. Thank you, Edith. You are Christine. <laughs> Your partner Edith is gonna be, let me see. Um Jorge, please, Jorge, you're gonna be Simon, Jorge. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, do you want to get something to eat? Sure. I'm tired of shopping. So I am. What do you think of Thai food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not a eater. I guess it's a bit spicy. What about Japanese food? Fine by me. I love Japanese food. So do I. There's, there's a great restaurant on the first floor. It's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Thank you so much, the two of you. We have a spicy. It's, it's a bit spicy. It's called Kyoto. It's called Kyoto floor. Very good. Thank you so much. Now we're going to have the rest of the conversation. Here we have what do they decide to do after eating? And is there something they don't want to do? Okay, so I will play the audio twice so you can listen and answer these two questions. Ready? Here we go. Page 86. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they decide to do after eating? Is there something they don't want to do? Wow, that was delicious, but I'm full. So am I. I'm in the mood for something relaxing. What about a movie? Good idea. What do you want to see? Anything, really. We can see what's playing. Okay, but no romance. I promised to see the new Ryan Gosling movie with my sister. One romance movie is enough. <laughs> You're a good brother. It's her birthday next week. That's the only reason why. Page 86. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they decide to do after eating? Is there something they don't want to do? Wow, that was delicious, but I'm full. So am I. I'm in the mood for something relaxing. What about a movie? Good idea. What do you want to see? Anything, really. We can see what's playing. Okay, but no romance. I promised to see the new Ryan Gosling movie with my sister. One romance movie is enough. <laughs> You're a good brother. It's her birthday next week. That's the only reason why. So, thank you so much. So, what do they decide to do after eating? Anybody? Go to the movies. Go to the movies. And what is something that they, they don't want to see? <laughs> uh, Anything. Romantic. But romantic, not, not romantic, no romance, right? Yeah. Exactly, no romance. romance. Exactly. Romance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay, what is your favorite kind of movies? Let's say, um, mm -hmm. Anna, Cristina Peña. Tell me, what is your favorite movie, and what is mo a movie that you can stand that you hate it? What is your favorite movie, Anna? Mm -hmm. um, not remember. Oh. Um, anything. Oh, okay. Movie. Okay. Do Do you have a movie that you hate a lot that you you can stand? Um, I see very um, movies, oh, but I... not remember the number. Oh, you see. A lot of or like not too many, not too many. A lot um, of movies? A like... few. Oh, okay. A few. a few. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, not too many movies, right? Not too many movies. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Anna, for sharing that. Paging. We're going to have the grammar part. So please, let's listen and watch this video so then we can practice a little bit of this one. Here we go. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. Okay, we're going to have on this week this um, topic that is so to and, and either. These are, are used when we want to show agreement about something, right, that um, somebody uh, tell us. Yes, we have different ways. Uh, you can pick depending on the context, right? Or they, like you can pick the ones that are easier for you. That's the ones that I use. Uh, we have so, we have two, we have neither, and also we have either, okay? So when we have these expressions at the beginning, we can say when we want to agree, we can use one of these ones. And when we want to disagree, we can use one of these ones, okay? Right, for example, uh, I am crazy about Italian food. If you want to be like a positive answer, so you can say, oh, so am I, or I am, comma, and then two, right? And if you want to disagree, oh, I am not, simple, right? You can you can use the verb to be here. <laughs> here we have this verb to be again. Okay, I can eat, I can eat a spicy food. 
So can I, I can, and then comma two, right? If you notice here with, with two, we are using a comma, right? We have the expression that goes related to the sentence. For example, here I use verb to be, verb to be. I use the, uh, the modal verb can, can. Here I use the simple present. I like Japanese food a lot. So I use do, because that goes with simple present. So do I, I do, comma, and then do. Also here in the negative, let's say uh, answer or in the um, disagree expression, we're gonna use the same thing. Like here clearly it's gonna be negative. Here is the opposite. I am not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I am not either, right? So that means this, I mean, these three, if you notice, these first three are com like positive, let's say expressions or, or statements, right? But these ones here are negative, yes? So that means that these three here, we're gonna use with, um, to agree with, with this thing. And also we use this one with negative. And here, if you notice, right, to agree with this person, we are going to use this expression. The first one, neither am I, or you can say, I am not either. If you notice this one here, neither, goes usually with, you have a positive, it's like answer here, but either goes with negative and usually goes at the end. So neither goes at the beginning and either goes at the end. And in here, to disagree, look at here, to disagree here, the expressions are in affirmative. Really? I am. Oh, I love it. Oh, I like it a lot. Yes, yeah, so here we need to switch the expressions, all right? And just an, an adding, adding this one, so into after affirmative statement. So this one's one, two, three are affirmative statements. Yes, this ones. So that's why I'm using this ones, right? And I, here I need to use not. When I disagree with somebody, I need to use not. I'm not, I can't, I don't, right? And neither or either after the negative statements. What is the negative statement? Well, this one, if you see these statements, all of them are negative. So here, if I agree with somebody, I need to use neither am I or either. Yes, right? However, however, look at here. When you disagree, you need to say something positive, right? So like somebody said, oh, I don't like pupusas, right? And a friend tells you, oh, I like them a lot, right? Yes, right. I like them a lot. Right, so so you need to like switch, like if you disagree with that person. Um, uh, also with so and neither the verb comes before the subject. So am I, okay, like this one. So am I. So just like the structure here. So am I, yes, and uh, um, neither do I. So like this one. Neither do I. We're gonna practice a little bit before we get into those practice. Do you have a question about this? We're gonna practice this one this week. So that means tomorrow. I have like. a question, teacher. Oh yes, Daniela. Go ahead. Um can we use the expression me neither? Is that correct? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can use that one as well. Very good. Me neither. Okay. Yeah, you can use that one as well. Very good. Let's get into the practice. Okay. And again, don't forget about this one to make mistakes. That's something like um that helps you a lot. Okay. Making mistakes is, is good. Pay okay. I'm gonna have this one. Choose the correct response to show that V agrees with letter A. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So we have number one is done for you already. What about the number two? Volunteers? I can either. Okay, can you or please either. read the A sentence and then give me the answer? Oh, please read read this one, letter A. I can stand fast food. 
Oh, very good. And what is the correct option? I can. Neither do I. Oh. I, can. I, I can either. Exactly. I, I can, can either. I can either. Why? Because as you see the expression here, we okay. have I can't. I can't stand fast food. Okay. I can't stand fast food. So here we are showing agreement, right? So you agree with this person, right? Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Good job. What about the number three? I really like Korean food. So do I. Oh, very mm -hmm. good. Beautiful. Simple present, right? Oh, don't forget that little thing. So do I. Thank you. What about number four? I don't eat French food. Very often, I don't either. Oh, look at this one, right? This is pressure. We can say it a lot, right? I don't eat, let's say, fast food very often. I don't eat junk food very often. I don't eat baleadas <laughs> very often. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, okay? I apologize. That was incorrect. Honduras, Honduras food. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, Honduran food. Very good. I am not crazy. Okay. Next one. Number five. I am not crazy about no, not chocolate. Crazy. Neither am I. Oh, look at that one. Okay. Very good. Beautiful. Neither am I. You can put this one together. Yes. You can link the two sounds. Letter M with letter I, neither am I, like neither am I, yes? You can pronounce it like that one, neither am I, yeah? Beautiful, thank you so much. Okay, Ana Cristina, hello, welcome. Do me a favor, Ana, read all the sentences and the answers, please, thank you. Anna, please read yeah. this. Read the sentence, all the sentence, and the answer. I am. Oh, I am. Que la lea. Yes, all of them, and the answer, please. Okay. I in the in the mood for something salty. Salt. I'm too. Very good. Uh, todas. Yes, please continue. Okay. Number two, I can stand fast can't. food. Very good. I can eat it either. Can't eat it. Uh, number three, I really like Korean food. Korean. So do I. Thank you. Continue. Uh, four, I don't eat French food very often. Beautiful. I don't either. Beautiful. Um, five. I'm not crazy about chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, neither I am. Chocolate. Very good. Neither am I. Repeat. Neither am neither I. Neither am I. Am I. Okay. Am I. Am I. Am yes. I. Beautiful. I love the way you pronounce it this one. It sounds like an R. I don't, I don't. Oh, that was very good, Anna. Very good. Okay. She didn't even pronounce the letter D, right? So she went like, I don't. Ah, that was beautiful. I love it. Very good. Okay. Keep practicing like that one. Okay. You're doing it very good. Okay. Don't forget to practice and practice so you can improve your pronunciation on this thing. Okay. Uh, let's, we can have this one. Okay. Uh, responses. To show agreement with the statements. I am not a very, <laughs> I am not a very good cook. Oh, look at this one. Gentlemen. Okay. Anybody, please. What is the correct, um, let's say, agreement sentence with this one? We have different options, right? Tell me one, please. Tell me one. I'm not either. Oh, perfect. Exactly. What is another way to say this one, to show agreement? Very good. I'm not either. Yes. What is another way? Neither am I. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. 
neither am I. Yes? Very good. What about the number two? I love French fries. Ah, look at this one. I do too. Oh, perfect. I do too. Oh my gosh. Comma. Don't forget the comma. What is another way? So do I. Beautiful. So do I. With so do I, we don't use comma, right? The comma is just when we have this one here. Yes. I do, comma, and then two. Unfortunately, uh, I have another class for you. To have another class, I'm sorry, but don't, we're gonna be working tomorrow and also uh, during these uh, classes on this week. Okay, if you have a question with an exercise on the platform, tell me. Enjoy your night, rest, and see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a good night. You do Bye -bye. the same. Good night. See you later, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.